reporting on training and scheduled training events is available to admin and training administrator roles and can be set up for team managers and direct managers if permissions have been set appropriately. Reports for training can be found under Reports, then Employee Data. If you need team managers and direct managers to be able to view training reports, admins need to ensure that this has been set up under Settings, Permissions, Team Managers. Make sure that Allow Access to Reports has been checked for team managers and direct managers or as your organisation requires. First, let's look at the training tab. Theo is an admin, and this is what he sees. Along the top, you have a set of tabs. Left to right, there is awaiting approval. Here, Theo can see that there is one training request waiting approval by the relevant manager. The next tab shows upcoming training and the next tab shows any training that has now been completed. To make it easier to report, especially if there is a lot of data, on each of these tabs you can filter the results by teams, by location and by training category. On each of these tabs you can also export the results to Excel. As an admin, Theo can also mark the training as complete on behalf of the employee. View a change log showing any changes that have been made to the training, edit the training or delete it. Reporting on scheduled training events is done from Reports, Employee Data, Training Events. This page provides Theo, our administrator, with all he needs to report on the scheduled events. Theo can filter his search to look for training events between specific dates, if necessary. The search can also be filtered by training category, by selecting the required type or types of training in this drop-down. In this section here, there are a number of totals including the total number of training events and number of attendees. Below is a list of the scheduled training events. To sort the list of training events alphabetically, you can toggle the event header. You can also sort by date and number of people attending by toggling those headers. Within each event, Administrator Theo has access to some key details here. What is the maximum capacity for this event? How many registrations are awaiting approval? How many confirmed attendees? And, if the event is full, how many employees are on the waiting list? As an administrator, Theo is able to approve all of these requests from here. By clicking on Use Tickets or the number of attendees shown here, Theo can display a list of all expected attendees on the event and his profile allows for an entry to be cancelled if necessary. Clicking export here will download an Excel list of attendees for this event and this could for example then be emailed to the trainer who is leading the event. This button here allows Theo to export or print off a complete list of all attendees expected for all events on the list.